Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have got a pretty simple equation here, and they're not even asking us to represent it. They just want us to solve it here. So that seems pretty simple. Uh, N equals, and then I've got a division, and I've got an addition. So here's my question. What do I do first, right? Well, this kind of relates back to another standard that we really focus a lot on in fifth grade, and that would be the order of operations. So let's... Write that down real quick. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, PEMDAS. So there's no parentheses for us to deal with. There are no exponents for us to deal with. Draw some lines to separate them. Simply because I want you to see that multiplication and division are inverse operations. They are equal. You can actually divide before you multiply if you see that coming first left to right. So they are on equal terms here. And then finally, we have addition and subtraction, right? Those are the final two. Those are also equal operations, inverse. And you can subtract before you add, if you happen to see that one first, left to right. So we see this division is going to come first, right? And then I'll do the addition second. So now I'm just needing to see this 1368. Right, and then I want to divide by 18. Okay, so now I'm dividing by a two digit divisor. So this is where we need a little bit of estimation here. So, you know, 18 doesn't go into 13, and 18 goes into 136. Well, we can kind of round that 18 to 20, maybe kind of round that to 140. Right, see if that gets as close. 20 goes into 147 times. So let's try 7. But I want to multiply. If it's a little bit too big, obviously we're going to have to go to 6. Let's multiply first. That's going to be 56. 126. Okay, so I what you need to do is subtract 126 from 136. Make sure that's within at least 18. And it is. All right, so our 7 is going to work. Let's put that up there. 126, and that's going to get us 108. Okay, so now I need to divide that 108 by 7, and let's see what we've got here. Uh, or 108 by that 18, actually. And once again, let's do that 20, maybe 5 times. I'm going to think 6 times, because I'm going to want... Yeah, I'm going to think I want that 18 times 6. I'm wanting that, you know, that 1's place to be an 8. So let's do the 48. There we go. All right, look at that. Nice, perfect. Okay, so this big chunk right here simplifies to 76, which is an answer. But now I've got 76 plus 1, right? We can't do all that work and forget the plus 1. So it's n equals 76 plus 1. So our answer here is really going to be this 77. Now, we see where the 76 comes from, right? Uh, we see where the 77 comes from. Take a look at this answer, 1351, right? What if we just didn't see that as a subtraction, as, as a division, saw that as a subtraction, 1368? minus 18, like we misread it, it's going to be 1350, right? And then I add that 1. That's where that 1351 comes from. What about that 72? Where's that coming from? Well, what if, right? What if we didn't do the operations in order from left to right? What if we actually added first, right? We did that first. Well, now that would be 1368 divided by 19. And actually, if you work it out, it's 72 equally. So all of these incorrect answers are possible choices, but our answer here is going to be B, 77.